Welcome back to the channel, and yes, it is that time again. We have got more brand new Saints Row gameplay, which means it's time for another gameplay breakdown. This time, with the focus being driving and car combat, plus more. Again, full credit to this one to Game Informer. Link below to the original video, which features the full audio. So as we get going, we can see straight away there is a few icons around the screen, as well as the minimap, with a fair bit going on. In terms of minimap, we have got the red circles that seem to indicate the police, plus the t-shirt for clothing. Away from the map, we have got the mission icon, as well as an icon for someone involved in the mission called Diamond. As the gameplay gets underway, you can see we have got what looks like a pretty awesome off-road desert police chase. We have got a collision with the buggy going straight over a police car, then some fairly decent dust effects. Driving wise, this is for sure the best gameplay we've seen so far, a lot more than just a short clip, looks good, looks smooth, more realistic than the previous Saints Row games, although not super realistic as we can see with a super quick bit of cornering. And yes, the game does have NOS or Nitro, whatever you want to call it, which looks pretty awesome as well. We're now on the road with a few other vehicles. We then head towards a police car and yes, maybe for the first time a bit of a negative, the big life bars above each of the cars. Now for me this is more of a preference thing but not something I personally like to see, hope there is an option to turn that off. It continues on with some bumps, some crashes and this car being sent flying. With the new rammer feature again on showcase which looks like a handy feature in situations such as this one. So the clip changes now and we are now on foot and the gun action begins. Again, knife bars on show, personally not for me, but still good gun gameplay, nice animations reloading the gun and the gun also looks to be somewhat customised. We now get our first proper look at the new weapons wheel which looks like it can be fully accessed when on the move. The weapon wheel itself is looking solid, simple, clean, looks good overall. As you can see it switches from the Tech Z10 SMG to a police shotgun. With other weapons on show, including an assault rifle, handgun, RPG, grenade and a truncheon. And here we go, shotgun time with the boss making quick work of the remaining police. We've also got these other icons on show, we've got the middle one which we think is an ability or a special move. It's also possible this might mean special ammo is available for certain guns, but we will see. Next clip and some mission gameplay now, with the objective to escape the drug dealers. Couple of handgun shots to the tyres and the car is gone, and boom. We have got the option to get on the car roof to shoot. Take note that the car is being driven by someone else and not solo. We've got a quick look at the in-car weapon wheel with the boss switching to an SMG, the idle Mac, for a bit more shooting. before eventually using the awesome new feature to get on the car and deliver some SMG shots of it. Notice as well, when on the car, you've again got the option of the full weapon wheel. What's also pretty cool to see is that not only can you sit back to shoot, but you can also lay down on your front to shoot as well. A bit more shooting and a bit more driving, and that clip now comes to an end. Moving on, and we're now in a different part of the city, and it's now time for the boss to do a little bit of driving, and this time in the Crisis car. A quick but very cool arcadey turn, and we're off with a little bit of driving again. Next clip, and we're now in another police chase, although this time in a slightly different area. We again get to see some quick turning and some generally nice looking driving. Before we get into the scene that we have seen briefly previously, although it does feature a new little bit of gameplay at the end. We then see this clip which again we have seen before, so we'll let this one quickly run through.
when the new gameplay resumes and yes it is time now for some off-road biking on the making rent mission nothing massive noteworthy here overall some nice uh, effects on show damage effects on the fence as well and just generally some pretty nice awesome driving gameplay featuring the dirt bike in the desert The clip does come towards the end, but before it does, we do get to see this badass looking jump. Overall, I would say some pretty solid gameplay, life bar aside, all positive. Things are looking good, looking smooth, and even though it is just another short video, it did actually feature some fairly decent stuff. So share with me your thoughts on the gameplay in the comment section down below. Stay tuned for more like this, coming to the channel soon. And until next time, this has been 101. And I will see you all on the next one.